is Chris Dwyer with Infinity Disk. Today I'm going to show you a common problem, a uh, problem that I've run into taking your logo or another image out of Illustrator, trying to put it into Photoshop, getting a white background to it. Same thing with pulling it into Premiere to edit video. Again, uh, taking your logo from Illustrator to Photoshop or Premiere and having your background be white. Um, I had this problem before, it's just been a while, and um, I figured it out and went to an Adobe Online post and went through was like 39 posts here and just um, couldn't really figure it out from what they were doing. Uh, somebody was having a similar problem, people were trying to help, but I figured it out so I was going to make a video on it. And uh, again, here's the logo. And um, yeah, obviously you want the, I want the, the background to be transparent, uh, clear, so that when you pull it into, um, when you pull it into and put it on something in Photoshop, like right here, my logo, you'll see right through it and see the background. Same thing in Premiere. Here's the one uh, with the white background, the logo on the white background, and here it's transparent. And um, the two different ones, I'm just using, putting, making it an example out of it. Again, this is Adobe uh, Premiere. I was making a video, and this was last week, and I forgot how to do it. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to go back to Illustrator. It's a real simple fix, but if you kind of don't know what you're doing, sometimes Illustrator can be pretty darn tricky. And um, here's my logo on. It's, all, it's really all in one layer, but sub-layered. There's a path at the bottom, and it's all white. And um, you'll see it. There's nothing on that. Um, kind of the way you kind of know. See, there's my path. Um, I didn't put that in there. I don't know how it showed up. But anyway, if you delete that out and then just save it, save as, um, should be fine. Again, here's my three see, three separate pieces of my logo. Save it out of there as Illustrator file. You can pull it right into Photoshop. Have that background transparent, like here, or in Adobe uh, Premiere, you know, the video editing tool. Um, same thing here. You can pull it. Actually, it's uh, you can just double click in this in your um, your basically your monitor, your view, viewing, um, and just delete that sucker out. We'll actually, come in here, whatever, whichever one. I think it's here. Delete it out. So that's how you do it. It's a, probably a pretty common problem out there. Um, it can be pretty frustrating if you if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but anyway, hopefully that helps somebody out there.